What is up guys, Mega Sonic here with another Baruto episode review. Now, if you haven't checked out the last one, go check that out on the channel. It's called Baruto episode 13 review, if you didn't know that obviously. But, we're going to get into this next episode. Now, if you like this video and you want to share with your friends, make sure you share and like and do all that stuff I tell you to do everything. And if you subscribe, hit that notification button too because, you know, that's, that's important too. Uh, so, let's begin. Alright, so episode 14, the conclusion of this godforsaken arc. I'm sorry guys, I kind of think this arc is practically pointless. It was a really bland arc. It was repetitive. It, 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 I just, okay, let me, I'll voice my issues with this arc at the end of the video because I can go on and on. Anyway, uh, so the episode starts out with like Kakashi explaining summoning jutsu like we didn't know this already. And he pretty much explains that like new is from a different world or a different dimension that's why it requires more chakra to summon it and, and that's the case that's always been the case in naruto like like the demon the reaper death seal you're summoning li literally the grim reaper and he's taking someone's soul and in cost of your own soul so yeah keep that in mind uh so every so the visa you know disappears takes brood on everyone and Nar, not Nar. Yeah, Naruto used the stage mode. And he realized, oh shit, the beast is gone. What the fuck to do? Uh, I guess so. All right, I guess. Shrug shoulders. Anyway, Bruto comes in and he falls into like this weird, pretty much the homeland of the beast, new, and he finds it and it tries to attack him. So keep that in mind, people. It's not. It's not a lot. It's it, nothing really happens this episode except like the most longest talk no jutsu ball gives that more. So, Bruto interacts with the beast, fights it, and his Byakugan, not Byakugan type thing, or Tetsugan, or whatever they want to call this eye. Uh, trust me, I figure out the eye's power, I'll explain to you at the end. I have a lot to explain at the end, so stay till the end. Keep that in mind. Anyway, Bruto uses his eye to see the chakra lines of the monster and finds that his weak point on his tail. He... The animation was really good, did a bunch of crazy sliding and jumping and kicking, but eventually defeats the beast. Then, you know, Mizuki comes out, Mizuki's like, hey, you defeated the beast, you found it, your eyes, good work. And, you know, he tries to kill the beast, and before he can kill it, a water style juice appears, and it's the girl again. So, the girl sees Baruto, and Baruto's like, oh my god, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. And Mizuki's at first is like, well, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna kill you and pretty much take you out. So, Ruto acts as like, why she's doing this? She, she's like, oh, it's to avenge my father and all this B, blah, blah, blah. Like, avenge my father because my father and my mother were part of Root. And for those who don't know, who didn't see the last video, who don't know much about Root, Root was like Donzo's secret organization amongst the Ambu Black Ops. Well, Ambu Black Ops are like the, like the little spies or like the people who do like the the crazy dirty work yet yeah, those guys they at the end of the war after they everyone pitched in up the war some of the members feel cheated because of the fact that they were later prosecuted but then again root has done a lot of sh like shady shit so it's 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 your own fault pretty much you were part of the shady ass organization just because you had one common enemy doesn't mean that everything you did would be forgiven you guys did a lot like like fun fact if for those who don't know Donzo was one of the reasons why Naruto was ostracized in the village because no one really knew that Naruto was the Nine Tails when he was born until Donzo spread that word out. So, like, keep in mind the shady shit the um, Root does. So, I, I do feel bad for her and her family because they were literally, like, prosecuted. But, like, at the same time, it was the fact that literally... You work for a shady politician, so <laughs> it's, you, it, it's the mistakes of your own decision, I guess. All right, so anyway, Ruta tries to talk no jutsu, but she ain't hearing it. And, you know, like, her and Mizuki get in this really heavy fight with all these, like, water style, electric style, wind style. And they do all these crazy ass techniques and stuff. And it's really fuego I, I love it i love it Mwah. it's really good it's really good and i'm enjoying it 
to the fullest until, you know, Boruto jumps in the middle of a fight and he gets stabbed by what's the class rep's kunai in the shoulder and he's like, stop it, this is not you, which is, okay, I'm sorry to say this, but for one part, I don't understand if the sub was a mistaken because I watched this on Hulu or is it different in other subs? Please comment down and explain to me why. But he says the reason why he wants to help her was because she's a classmate. Wait, what? A, a, a classmate. Well, we're classmates. We help each other out. That is the most four kids type thing I ever heard, Baruto. Like, I would accept it, friend. Like, But even that's too good to be true because you barely have any screen time with her. So, Bruto is chatting like, this can't be you, blah, 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 this can't be you. And she's like, oh, I must take up my father's thing, blah, blah, blah. He's still new into me and new, I, I power new up. And pretty much new gets out of, like, the trap Bruto and Mizuki set it up for it. And it came back and, you know, it it was cuddling up to him. And also, I noticed new is extremely smaller. And I, I don't know why, like, that's weird. Because it was literally the size of, like, the nine-tailed fox. Now it's, like, the size of, like, a large bear. Like, a really, really large bear. Like, a gigantic, like, abnormally large grizzly bear. Which is not really large, but is large compared to, like, humans and, like, kids. So, yeah, like, it just, it just, it just was not, it didn't make no sense. Like, where did it, did it lose chakra from teleporting? Or did it open a wormhole and exhaust its chakra? Why is it so much weaker? Why is it so much like... Because Baruto was able to take it on with no... With, with minimal difficulty. With some difficulty. But he was able to take it... He was able to hurt it and knock it out. So, like, where did all this chakra go? Like, it absorbed so much chakra from so many people in the village. Like, what the... Whatever. Anyway. Uh... So, Baruto talks to her and tries to convince her that she's not the person that she's trying to be. That the person that he's seen, that's who she truly is. Which is kind of a bold statement because she did lie. She did betray you. So, how would you know that was her really how she was? How you know the way she acts isn't the really way how she is? Like, it's it's, it's confusing because Baruto is talk no jutsuing it. But he's doing it so poorly that it makes naruto's talk no jutsu make more like legendary because these if okay when naruto talk no jutsu it made sense okay baruto you want to be okage you had dreams stuff didn't work out but you let that affect you emotionally and mentally and cloud your judgment so now you on this crazy rampage it made sense to say that saying hey i want to help you even though you try to kill me numerous times I want to help you because you're my classmate. What? Because you're my classmate? Okay, I'm, I'm done ranting. But anyway, uh, she turns around and the chakra weighs off of her. And we found out the news chakra kind of affects people who have, like, doubt in themselves or troubles. Like, the burdens. Like, like Danky, the burden of his, like, abusive father. Uh, like, a bunch, like, the, like, a bunch of stuff that's, you know, that's there. And stuff, and like you know, the issues that we have, it absorbs, it takes on that and possesses us because of that. And if we just say, "Oh, the burden doesn't affect me no more," it just magically goes away, which, which makes no sense. Anyway, uh, getting closer to the plot. So New is actually a good person because uh, class rep raised him, raised it, I guess. Raise new and new or new a whatever it says new or new a, and um, raised it and now it treats it like its mother, and so it has a special connection with her. So they try to find a way to get out, and you know news chasing and new kind of splits off from them to help them and save them, and they're running through this tunnel at the end of the episode, and Bruto's Byakugan activates. And he's able to see through a portal to see where Shikadai, Eno, I don't think his name, Enoshin, Sai Sun, Eno, whatever his name is. I, sorry, escape me at this point. But like, and Denki, they're all sitting there, they looking for them, and like, the 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 wormhole. Bruto just punches the wormhole open, 
and he falls through with the class rep and everyone everyone's safe so it's like morning time and everyone's like what happened it's like we stopped the beast and everything blah blah blah, blah. everything's back to normal and you know um Sai walks up and Sai is like okay what the hell are you guys doing at this time of the hour it's morning uh everyone comes in and, you know, he's talking to Sai, and Sai, being a ex-member of Root, when we catch him in the beginning of Shippuden, when we meet Sai, he was a member of Root, so he kind of, like, connects with her a little bit better. He's like, hey, I understand your issues, I understand your struggles, let me come help you, and he just kind of takes her away, and Bruto kind of sees, like, Nue attach herself to her again, so Nue's not dead, I guess he's in a weakened state, whatever, it just... Ah, whatever. And the episode ends with them like, oh shit, we have class. And, like, no one took a nap, so I guess everyone's sleeping in class. Uh, so that's the episode. I'm, I know this review is a bit shorter than the last one. But, you know, I'm going to explain why I thought this arc was bad and what's, what, what's with Brutal's power. So let's talk about Brutal's eye ability. So one thing about it is that it's similar to a test. It has a testogram, but it, has a, it makes your eye black, too. So it's kind of weird. And also the fact that it can see chakra lines and sort of vulnerable parts like they did with Nue. And it also has like many other factors that played into it such as uh, Baruto's can like see wormholes and open them. Just like he did with Nue. Just, and it just, okay. The eye works like sort of like if they took uh, Obito's Kimoi ability and mixed it with the Tetsagram's, like, innate ability, with the Byakugan's innate ability, and anything the plot wants it to do. That's, like, that's my observation of his his eye. It's just, it's, it's not clear. It's just, it's whatever the plot wants it to be. Like, the plot's like, hey, it can open wormholes. Fuck it, why not? It can, like, open, it, like, Bruto can, like, see Chakra, like, Aura, hell, why not? Bruto can see the Chakra lining, hell, why not? Can see vulnerable parts, hell, why not? Like, it's really just based on what the writers want it to be. And I don't think they know pretty much what they want it to be. They're just going along with it until they find a concrete way to explain the abilities of this eye. Now, getting to what I thought of this entire arc... I thought in the beginning it started off really good, but I didn't think it was going to go on for too long. But I'm glad it's kind of like over. The next episode is going to be like a little closing episode for that arc. And I don't know what they're going to do with the class rep. They're probably going to like tell her to like live somewhere else, put her in the care of someone else to live with, or a bunch of shit. Or because she's technically an orphan. And we do have orphanages now in Naruto, if you don't know that in Naruto's universe. Uh, but. We will have to see that next week, but getting into this, I would give this episode a three at most. I wouldn't. I want to go as hard, long, small as a two point five out of five because it it was it was literally okay. It was literally twenty percent badass action and like eighty percent of no twenty percent of boring like talk no jutsu. And the rest of the 60% was unexplainable BS, such as New Egg. I, I, it just, like, a lot of the stuff is just, like, they speed it up. Alright, whatever. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this review. I plan to do these every week. Uh, so if you like, remember to like, subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. Because it indicates and tells you when I post the next video. So you guys, you know, can, can you know, catch on to it whenever you know. So you know I post something for you guys. Anyway, uh, I'm about to go read Walking Dead. New issue come out. Keep an eye out for that review too. And I'll see you guys later.